I know you did those. I know you do like long distance paddle boarding. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Where was the one? What was the longest one that you did? Uh, Molokai in Hawaii. That's where it was. It yeah. was in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about that. We'd love yeah, to hear tell, that. Ex- please. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Dive into that. Yeah. All right. Um, well, let's see. You want me to go right to Hawaii or just kind of like how it got got me there? What's the name of the race? Kind of how I look up some Mol- like Yeah, Molokai. Visuals. Molokai? Yeah, M O L O K A I. Do uh, kind of like it too, leading up to, to the race too. All right. Um, well, real quick backstory. Like I I surf my whole life basically, and that's why how it got me into lifeguarding and whatnot. And then uh, one of my crew chiefs, you know, Ed, he was kind of like, "Yo, you should start paddling. You surf and all that kind of stuff." So I started getting on the board and started getting on like the old bark. Um, it was actually a ten six bark. Usually makes twelve foots. Um, and then I just started using them, and then. Uh, just kind of getting used to paddling. Mm-hmm. Then I decided, uh, I think it was like 2012, 2013, one of our buddies from Belmar, Ryan Matthews, he did the New York City paddle. So he did the 25 miles around Manhattan Beach. Or not Manhattan Beach, but around Manhattan. Yeah. So that kind of got me and my buddies to be like, oh, okay, he that's, can do that? We can cool, do that. Yeah. yeah, like we can yeah. do this. So that's where it kind of started. Now, I wanted to... Uh, always do this Molokai to Oahu paddle. It's it's the championship paddle. It's 32 miles, you know, if you have the best line. Mm. Um, and uh, you have to apply. Like, you have to – you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to do that today. I'm and then decide, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just, you know, do it. And there's a lot of logistics. But um, I applied. And uh, in April, I had gotten in, and I was freaking out. My mm. buddy, Dan Grotus, he did it the year before. So that was, like, a cool – Step like he's one of my best friends. Yeah. I was in his wedding and all that. That's what we we're talking about, like lifeguards mm-hmm. for life, right? Like um, best friends for life. So he did it in 2017, and I was like, I gotta do it. It's like here we go. It's my turn now. So 2018 came and and I applied and I got in and I was ecstatic. And then I realized this is huge. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I have to train like hard train. I mean, I've trained you know up all those years prior, but now I gotta really train. Yeah, that's like um, a level up. That's a little different. It's a whole yeah. different animal. It's a whole different beast. And, you know, so I did a lot of different um, different paddles. I did the AC paddle, and, which is like 22 and a half miles. I did the Cape to Cape, which is uh, Chad to Sadnix. He's 17 miles from Delaware to Cape May. That was awesome. Mm. That's a hard paddle. A um, couple of different ones. But um, then, you know, late July comes, and here I am on a plane flying over to Hawaii. Uh, I don't even have a board. I got, um, I got connected with a guy out there in Hawaii to get me, mm-hmm. to lend me a board. And my buddy Alex, friends, one of my best friends, uh, he got in on a team, which was kind of cool. I'm doing it solo, so I'm 32 miles all by myself. Oh, <laughs> so you could do it as a team mm-hmm. or just... Yeah, like a two-man or three-man. Yeah, so Chad, right, to Sadnik, he, he reached out to me. He's like, hey, do you have anybody that paddle? And he's like, we need a guy for a team. And uh, originally it was going to be a three-man. It's now a two-man, so now it's just Alex... And this other guy named Smiley <laughs> from California. So pretty pretty funny guy, pretty crazy. Um, but it was just those two, and then it was also me just by myself. So when you have to do a race like this, you have to have your own boat. And you have to pay, you know, you have to get the boat captain, and, and you give them all their stuff and the monies and, and then the food and all the waters and whatever you need. Oh, that, so they follow you. They That's follow uh, you the okay. whole A spotter, time. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, your your spot boat or, you know, mm-hmm. your supervised boat. Um and they have to, you know, they have to go through all the loops to make sure that they're legal to do all that. Mm-hmm. So I got this guy from from Dan, Captain Jim, and Captain Steve. Total nut jobs, amazing <laughs> dudes. I love them. I miss them. Um, and they watch you the whole time. They have to be with you. So you take a little plane over to Molokai, and that's a one way trip. That's it. You're on that island. The board arrives with them on the boat and. You're looking out, and I remember the morning of, right? So the morning of the race, I'm looking out, and you don't see the other island. You don't see Oahu mm-hmm. <laughs> at all. You just sit there, and you're looking into a horizon, an empty of horizon of nothing. And you're like, God. yeah, can I do this? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're starting to second guess a little bit. Oh, the, the anxiety. Everyone's got anxiety, yeah. right? And you go into, like, a really big prayer, and everyone's all excited, and you get pumped up. But then you kind of just, like, when that's all done, you're just sitting there, you're like, can I really do this? This is yeah. crazy. <laughs> this is one way. It's just, you're going. Mm-hmm. And um, so I'm looking out to the nothing, and I'm with my buddy, um, Alex, and our other buddy from actually um, Ship Bottom, uh, 
Johnny Skolnick. The other SHBP? Yo, yeah. Ship oh, no, bottom. no, Ship Harbor. Ship, sorry, yeah, sorry. No. Stone Ship, Harbor. Stone, Stone Harbor. Harbor. My bad. Uh, Ship Bottom. Excellent guys down there, by the way. The Torpedo Boys, shout out. They're awesome. All crazy, crazy guys as well. So me, Johnny, and Alex were all hanging out. Now, the cool thing about this race was that was the year John John Florence did the paddle. So it was like he had hurt his knee um, towards like ACL or something like that. And so he was going to paddle that year. And we all see him and we're like, oh, that's cool. John John's going to do it. I'm sure he's going to do okay. Like, he's not a paddler. He's a, he's a, he's a surfer. That guy smoked it. <laughs> he's really? incredible. So we're all sitting there in the circle. And there's Australians. I mean, this is the ch- world championship, right? I feel like I, I mean, I'm there. It's pretty cool. But you're like. But I'm like, wow, these guys are. <laughs> oh, like, these guys are like superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. Th- this is like, uh, some of those guys are like your NFL, your, you know, your baseball. Yeah, MLB. your favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Like these yeah. are the top, top in the, in their country. And mm-hmm. in their country, they're born red to do this. So the gun hits and you're like, all right, I got a paddle. And you're just, you're just going. <laughs> uh-huh. So um, it was super fun. It was super scary because at one point. Um, like, you know, you, you take your supplements, like, to eat, right? Like, uh, your goos, like, to make sure you have, like, the electrolytes and mm-hmm. salt and all that kind of stuff. And the first one I take does, that doesn't sit well in my throat, and it's burning my throat. I almost couldn't, like, breathe. Really? <laughs> I was, like, in a really bad place. <laughs> Pretty quickly <laughs> into the race. Drink some salt water. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was, like, I got water, and I was, like, I got my boat, but I'm, like, I can't breathe, yeah. and this hurts. <laughs> and Okay, this is how it goes, though. This is just like I guess know. it's part of it. I guess yeah. it, it comes at, it comes with it. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many miles I've logged in and how many you know I've done it all, dialed in my nutrition, and that is like still something like that comes up, and you're like, yeah, oh, this hurts. Oh, yeah. but now you're in it, and there's no turning back, you right. know, and there's no getting on the boat, uh, you know that like uh, that wrestling mentality of just like pushing through that those barriers, yeah. those pains. You know, uh, there's no quit. The boat, was the, the boat was the easy way out, and you just there's never you can't do take that. that. Never, no, never. I would like, I know I've said it since it, but I was like, I'd be prepared to like not come back, you know. And I got into some dark places in that, you know, it's 32 miles of open ocean, and the waves out there, the swell is like nothing here. Mm-hmm. It is wild how big it gets, how powerful. It's just the open ocean. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's. You know, there's some, like you said, with nor'easters that can kind of do it, but the swell's all going in the same direction. It is just powerful. It's How big uh, were the waves out in, like, the middle, if you were to the, say? The swell, let's well, really do it. Oh, there you go. That's a stand-up paddle, yeah. Um, so you were you were on, like, a normal paddleboard? I was on oh. a prone. So that's a stand-up. That's, that's, we not, don't that's, do that. not, that's yeah, yeah. not That's not that. board. <laughs> we have, yeah, that's tourists. Yeah, so. Get that out of here. That's I'm like, trying. Well, I'm, <laughs> this this there is Matt Bevilacqua. I've this seen this is, video a million times. This is Matt Bevilacqua. He's on an 18 foot board. He's one of the best from Australia. Actually, Tasmania, technically. Um, he is an absolute monster. But so this is what you're feeling. You just these crazy big swells in this in this channel, and you're trying to catch it. You're trying to read the waves, like the swell, mm-hmm. um, the best you can. So now where he is is getting towards the end. That's like. Not China walls, but it's like getting close to the edge. Like he's made it to Oahu at that point. But you see how like wow. the swell starts picking yeah. up, and you're trying to race into it just so it gets you a little bit of energy, and then all that energy, and then you're like, all right, a little bit of push, and you're like, okay, I'm off the back now. I got to paddle again. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's like you're kind of catching the yeah. wave, but it's like it's like when you see a wave like jack up, like you know, way before you know where the sandbar is. Mm-hmm. And it lo- it looks like it's going to break, but oh, you're yeah. just like, this isn't going to happen. Yeah, you absolutely think, you're like, okay, I'll paddle real hard. Ah, and I got it. And you're just like, oh, and you fall off the back. You're like, ah, it didn't work. <laughs> that was a lot of energy. And I've got 31 miles more to go. Yeah, that must be such <laughs> like a, like a, not like a bad feeling, but like a, like a it's, discouraging moment when uh, you're like, what, oh, what's that thing? Bit. What's that I thing on a board? Is that a camera? What is, what is, that, what is that? That's what? water. That's oh, your, that's their water. Yeah, okay, that's, that's all oh, I can see. It's a jug, so yeah. it's a water cage. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 so the the that, ha, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's the size I use. That's what size foot. boat? That's why I want. I mean, yeah, the board. Uh, the board. That's Stuart the twelve. McLaughlin. Yeah, twelve foot. So the twelve foot. The difference about that versus the bigger ones. Oh, this guy's a maniac. He's awesome. Um, this is inside the inside the bay now at this point. Um. Stuart McLaughlin, that's a 12-foot board, and it doesn't have, like, a rudder. So the t- 18 foot because they're so big, they actually have a bar underneath by your feet that you can you can actually move the fin, like mm-hmm. the one part of the fin, so you can kind of make it directional. So as you paddle straight, you can push it to the right or to the left. But with the, with the 12-foot, oh, no it's, you, it's just only the, you moving yeah. the board. So you're 
going harder on your right hand, you're going harder on your left hand to yeah. move it. Um, the cool thing about that guy is he just lays down the whole time. So he spends the entire thing just laying on his stomach. Whereas like I will I'll switch and transition from my stomach Go to my knees. Forth. Knees are a lot faster, a lot more energy. You can get a lot more power. A with lot your more knees, power. Right? Mm-hmm. That kills your knees. Mm-hmm. A little bit the hips. The knees, yes, but the the hips, like nothing, the burning yeah. you never felt in your hips. When, when you when you get on your belly, do you do you bend your knees and like yep. kind of move? I your, move you my know? feet. Yeah, yeah. Like that's how motion. I learned. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah for distance. It, well, how long did it take? How long does it take? Like, so that's the, is that how many hours generally or so average? Ideally, you're always shooting for that six hour forty five minute mark. You know. Okay. Um, I did not hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I hit some dark places in that channel. I'm like, a lie. Um, I'll tell you what, man. No one else at this table has paddled that far. <laughs> yeah. so. Live it remotely. Um, I'm gassed after like a mile to the pier and back. <laughs> yeah. you know? it's a, it, you, with some training, you'll get there, you know. <laughs> um, but it took me eight. And um, I thought that was pretty good for my first shot. And uh, it was just a learning experience for me. Just like almost like. Like, you know, what we always say, like, when you get to States, you're all the bright yeah. lights and you're like, yeah. okay, I'm wrestling at the States. And then, um, it's more of like an experience, it's an experience. Yeah. yeah. And I wanted it you, to be that way. <clears throat> you mentioned that wrestling mentality and I know you're, you're a coach, mm-hmm. right? You coach the girls wrestling yes. team at Jackson Memorial, Number one. um, which is awesome. By Thanks. the way, are you, are you the first coach of that program? Uh, I wouldn't say the first, but I'm like duo, like with Dewey, Gosman, mm-hmm. Rash, mm-hmm. like we all started it together. Okay. And then. Um, they kind of made one more or less head coach of the cross wrestling program. That's me. So 